I recently received a question asking why the vast majority of my examples use var instead of let. Well, I thought that was a good candidate for a JavaScript question video. Is it at all necessary to still use var in your JavaScript code? Now first, there are some unique differences between var and let. And if you need to review those differences, I encourage you to view a previous tutorial on that topic. I've included a link in the description section of this video. So first, the reason I have continued to use var instead of let in my examples in the past is simply to be backwards compatible. Believe it or not, I still do work in mid-2017 where I need to support browsers that do not support let. Some clients are super cautious that way. However, if you take a look at the following website, and we scroll down, here's let, we can see that let and const are greatly supported now. For example, even IE11 provides support for const and let. So personally, it is probably time I make a change in my examples. However, if you need to support older browsers in your work, that would be a reason to continue using var. You can use this website to help answer that question. Otherwise, you should be able to switch completely from var. Now, as you replace var with let, remember one of the unique differences between these two keywords. Let defines block scope while var defines function scope. If you've been working in JavaScript for a long time and are used to the function scoping of var, remember that difference. You will need to declare let variables at the top of your functions in order to guarantee function scope so that you don't mistakenly scope those variables to a code block. Declaring them at the top of your function is good practice anyway. Now, some people will recommend using const instead of let or var and only using let when you actually need to reassign a, the variable. And there is a lot of value in this argument. Const would prevent you from accidentally reassigning a variable because it would generate an error. But I also feel it is important to understand the true nature of const in the JavaScript world if you're going to use it the majority of the time. As mentioned, const prevents you from reassigning a variable. So let me look at that first. Let me open the console and I'll declare two variables. There's one variable, f name. I just declared that with let. Now I'll declare a variable with const, l name. Now if I try to change f name, I'm allowed to do that. But if I try to change l name to something else, I receive the error. It won't allow me to do that because I've declared it using const. So const communicates making data immutable. But that is not actually true. In the JavaScript world, objects are used all over the place. Almost everything is an object. And objects are immutable. Therefore, const will prevent the reassigning of a variable. But if that variable references an object, it will not prevent the changing of that object. Let's take a look at that really quick. So if I declare an object using const, and then I try to reassign that variable to a new object with this statement, I get the error message. That's expected. I'm not able to reassign that. However, I can do this. I can change the name property. That's the only property I have in this object right now, but I can change that name property to something else. And it allows me to do that because objects are mutable. The const prevents me from reassigning the variable, 
but it does not make the object immutable. You need to use other things to accomplish that. So if you decide to use const the majority of the time, just make sure you understand its true nature in order to avoid a false sense of reassurance that could lead to a mistake. So in future examples, I plan to use let and const more frequently and begin ending the use of var as the browser support now for those keywords is very high. Hopefully this little discussion on that JavaScript question was helpful. If you would like to view another video, we have a number of tutorials which you can access from our website. They're organized into different categories and the URL for that is on the screen. If you'd like to view another tutorial from our YouTube channel, you can click the video link in the center of the screen. You can subscribe to our channel by clicking the circle link on the left. We release new videos every week and you can visit our website where we have numerous resources on JavaScript, including full courses, by clicking the link on the right. Thanks for watching.